Leander is where teaching became my first love. It was the only place I applied to. Um, it was kind of like if I don't get in at Leander, I don't want to move. I didn't know what I was missing until I got here. I asked around and one of my friends taught in Leander and she goes, it's just different. I always had a passion for children with autism. and This was a destination district. Coming first as a parent and then quickly, very quickly, getting hired to work for the district. Wanted to come back to the same district that I grew up in. Um, I felt very, like you said, it was very safe, it was very comforting. At the same time, you feel like it's where your roots are. During that whole interview, it was about the laughter and lots of conversation about how do you build relationships and what does community mean to you. And um, I walked out of there and it's like I told my husband, he asked how the interview went, I said, I may not get this job, but this district is a place I wanna be. People matter here. We have teachers who come into their roles with just the, the being on fire and the passion to um, help students. Professional learning is what is bridges that passion and drive to actually being um, fully capable of achieving what your dreams are for, for your students. If you're a teacher in this district, you know that there are other teachers who are doing things and the hard thing is how can how can I learn from that teacher? I don't just want to read a book, I don't just want to watch a video online, I want to go and learn from someone right here and talk to them about how this works and troubleshoot things and talk with other teachers across my district about the challenges I may be having, about some of the celebrations that I'm having and to feel really good about the things that we're doing together as a district. There's always this question of what do you need? How can we support you? And what I've, I have yet to ask for something and not get that support, right? Because they know that ultimately everything that they invest in us as instructional coaches get invested in teachers, which then gets invested in students. And the goal is student learning, right? High student achievement. The best experience um, for a teacher is to go somewhere where new things are happening and where you can try and fail and succeed and, and work with the kids that are also trying and, and failing and succeeding to make it a little easier to maybe try again in the future. It's, it's growth for kids, it's growth for adults. You never reach that point where you know everything and you know it, and it's really important also to kind of have that mindset of always wanting to improve. We learn just as much from you know the novice teachers coming in as they're learning from us. So continuous improvement, I've really taken it to heart. Um, it's a personal growth for me that I'm not happy where I'm at. So I'm always going to be striving to do better, to learn something new. Um, it's just kind of become my philosophy about my life. To me, it's a no opt out for the student. If you didn't get it today, let's get it tomorrow. And so we just keep working towards always trying to get better. We don't want to just improve on something and then backtrack on something else. You always want to be improving. You always want to um, understand what's going on. Because if you don't, then how are you going to move on to the next thing? All the teachers here are really nice and like help you with everything you need. They're willing to give you a second chance no matter what and that they're always there for you. Teachers really help you and like talk to you about stuff that happened and they can relate to you. It makes you feel a lot more confident in what you're doing and how you learn. They'll make you feel like you're really getting smarter and you're really getting better. Well since they're like good teachers, I have confidence to go out to the rest of the world. One part of my life is awesome at school. Every time I do science, my brain gets smarter. Students own their own learning, which is a real um, important piece of Leander and what we do and what we believe in. What does it mean, the Leander way? You've got people coming into the system, and unless you're really strong with your core values and the Leander way, and people not only just hear it, but know what it is, but it's also a feeling, and that's a hard thing to put into words. So we really believe in build, think, and create, and we want to build relationships and trust, and we want to think systems and continuous improvement. We solve problems together. It's a collaborative effort. There's not a lot of top-down type of administration or mandates. It's more of a, that we're all in this together, so how do we develop what's best for students? When you're comfortable, you work better. More space to work in. I can relax, I can actually do my work. I love it. I love the atmosphere. I love the teachers here. Them getting to know you a lot better and knowing who you are so they can relate to you and help you learn. I feel so lucky to work in Leander ISD. It's, it's exciting to, to come to a place where people are excited to be there. It makes me proud, you know, to say that not only do my kids go here in Leander ISD, but I get to work here. I learned to teach in my previous district. I learned to lead in this district. 
I learned to be better in this district. I learned to always improve in this district. I learned that uh, anything is possible. Leander, you know, this is home for me.